Hello, this is Joshua for Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about my big bad artificer, Hard Enamel Pin. Every month in 2023, I will be releasing a new standalone RPG cat. This month's design is the big bad artificer. So let's get into the design. So the idea for this design started as kind of a, a what if. What if the hero classes were villains? Now, obviously, this happens in games, in RPGs a lot. Um, and it also seems to be a very prevalent thing in kind of superhero origin movies. You know, you have, like, the hero, and then you have, like, the villain of the origin stories a lot of times tends to be, like, an evil or dark or twisted version of the hero. Sometimes they just happen to get powers in the same way. Sometimes they stole the hero's powers or technology or whatever it is that's happening. Um, but this kind of dark mirror image uh, is very pervasive in a lot of types of fantasy literature. And I had done sketches for most of the common RPG classes, but I was kind of struggling a bit with the artificer. So I decided that instead of completely reinventing the wheel, I would go with that kind of dark mirror image concept. And I took the Artificer from Series 2, and I used that as my base for building a, a bigger, badder, evil version. In my head, I actually have this little storyline where this big bad Artificer was kind of like the Arc 1 villain who was defeated by the Series 2 Artificer, uh, and they thought that they were maybe killed or gone somehow, but what ended up happening is the big bad artificer was, quote, inspired by the hero artificer, and the next time they fight, you know, the big bad artificer has created a power suit of their own. And it's not just that they have the power suit, they've added that to whatever skills, abilities, or whatever that made them the villain from... Uh, from the original arc. So that's kind of the story I have in my head of how this character came to be. They were already a tinkerer, an inventor, uh, a villainous type. And then they were defeated by someone wearing powered magic armor. And they were like, that's a great idea. I want one too. And so that's what they ended up creating. And that's what this character is uh, in my head. I thought that maybe something fun to do was maybe they're not just like, it's not just a powered armor, they have a powered weapon. So it's maybe magically enhanced, uh, me mag mechanically enhanced. You know, it's artificer stuff. You know, artificer stuff is both invented and magic in my mind. So like it's, it's a somehow powered upgraded sword. And that's why it's got that big cable coming out the back of it. Uh, linking it into the armor itself. So it's all running off the same power source, whatever that is. But that wasn't, that still wasn't enough for me. I wanted this to be like a crazy over the top villain. And I was like, well, what else do artificers do? I was like, well, artificers can be like alchemists, they can make potions, things that can enhance somebody physically or mentally. Um, kind of that cross between magic and science kind of thing again. And I was just like, maybe they are also an alchemist and they've got like this big tank of you know some sort of alchemical you know stimulant juice that makes them you know stronger or smarter or crazier uh maybe it does all of that maybe it makes them stronger and smarter but also kind of makes them a little crazy maybe that's why they're a villain to begin with i don't know i just thought that it would be fun to bring in yet another element of kind of that magic science crossover and really kind of bring this villain over the top. I wanted this to really be, you know, they've got it all. Like, maybe that's their shtick. Like, you know, they, they do thing one. They get defeated and they're like, oh, I need to add that to my arsenal. And then they get defeated again. They're like, oh, you know what? I need to add that to my arsenal and that and that. And they just kind of keep building and reiterating on you know, things that they've already got, and then what What helped someone defeat them? And they're like, I want, I need that too then. And so, like, they just keep getting more and more powerful. So I envision this as being kind of the, the final form of this uh, big bad artificer boss. Now, something that I was struggling with a little bit with this was trying to figure out how much of a face that they should really have. Um, I, in the end, they, they don't have really a face. It's more like a visor slit kind of thing in a helmet. But that was kind of a struggle because if you can't clearly see the face, does that take away the kittiness of it there? Um, 
you know, it is part of the Black Cat RPG collection. And, you know, so I think this is probably the second time where you can't see any of the actual cat. Uh, obviously, I still have cat ears on it, but this was something that I was, you know, trying to figure out while as I was working with it. You know, should you be able to see the eyes through the slit? Should you be able to see, like, part of a face through it? Uh, or is this just full coverage? You can't see them at all. And in the end, I decided to just go with what I felt looked the best. And I figured if you know about Black Cat RPG stuff, uh, it makes sense anyway. And if you don't know about it, you're just looking for something that looks cool. And this looks cool. And I am really happy with how this turned out. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. I will be having a new pin design video every week. Sometimes it's things that I've released in my shop. Sometimes it's stuff from my subscription club. Other times it's stuff from my Kickstarter. But... Every week, something new is going to be here. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and come check out what I have next week. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.